What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to make a capacitor meter. And this one's going to be cool because it's got switches, dials, and LEDs. So stay tuned to see how that works. Okay, so the way this thing's going to work is we'll insert a capacitor, then we'll try flicking one of the four switches, and we'll turn the knob. And when we see the LED turn off, then we can read the value of the capacitor on the appropriate line or circle on the knob. Okay, so let's take a look at how the concept works before we look at the actual circuit. So say that we have two RC filters in parallel and um, the same sine wave is applied. We can probe the two points here and um, we can see what happens. Now, say that we adjust these three known values so that A and B are the same. And then we want to find uh, CX, which is our unknown capacitor. So we can uh, set A and B equal to each other. So if we plug in the formula, we find this. And we can simplify most of this. So take away U0 and find common denominators for the two sides. We end up with this. So these terms cancel out which, with each other here and there. So we get this, and then we can subtract 1, and then divide by j omega on both sides. And so then at this point we can just uh, turn things around for c, and this is the final result. Now this means that by changing the values of r1 and r2, we can uh, make it so that a and b are the same. And then knowing these three values, we can find the value of our unknown capacitor here. Okay, so let's take a look at how the circuit works. On the left we have an oscillator and I explain how that works and how to build one in the previous video and you can check it out right here. Next we need an RC filter and we need to be able to vary the value of the resistor based on what our unknown capacitor is and so we'll use four switches for that. And then because uh, this uh, output is going to be very susceptible to loading, we need a high impedance buffer to uh, keep that uh, from distorting. So we'll use that there. And then we need a second RC filter to compare its output with the one of the first one here. And this is going to be variable and we'll use a 10k potentiometer for that. And this is going to be our known capacitor here. Now we need to um, compare the two outputs and uh, see what the difference is. So that when the difference is zero, meaning they're the same, then we know that we nailed the position of our potentiometer here and uh, we know what the value of this capacitor is. So to find the difference of two sine waves, we have a special circuit here. And uh, this is going to be an inverting amplifier here. And uh, this is a just a voltage divider. And by structuring it like this, we can find the difference of the two. Now here you can use any two resistors with the same value, it doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously keep it uh, over a certain minimum value. But here we need uh, at least 100K to not load the output of this filter here, because we should have used another buffer, but then I needed five op amps and uh, we'd have to add another IC. So this will be our difference, and that will be fed into a rectifier here. And um, this will rectify half of the wave, and this LED here will be our visual output. So generally this would be the output right here, or no, this here. And this would be a normal diode, but to not use the oscilloscope every time we want to measure a capacitor, then we can just put an LED and look at that. All right, so let's build this thing. First thing we do is build our dual power supply. Then we can insert the quad op amp and build the oscillator. Next thing we do is uh, insert the four switches. Then we can connect them up to the waveform output by the oscillator. Next thing we can attach the four resistors and then connect the uh, capacitor that we want to measure and uh, add the second RC filter with the known capacitor and resistor. Next thing we do is create the buffer with the second op amp, and then we can create the circuit that finds the difference between the two waveforms. 
and uh, finally we can add the rectifier with the diode and the LED with the two resistors. At this point we only have to connect our uh, potentiometer in the correct position. Alright, let's try it out. So first thing here I got some uh, capacitors with known values based on their labels. And uh, we can try with the first one which is labeled 224 which means uh, 220 nanofarads. So we can insert that, uh, play around with the knob and see when the LED turns off. I guess uh, at this point we can write down the value in the appropriate circle and pass to the next one. Okay, so at this point the video is getting a little bit long and repetitive if I do it for all the different capacitors. But uh, the point is that you do it for all of them and then you fill in all the values. And at the end you should end up with something that looks kind of like this. Okay, so looking at the final result here we can see that all the powers of 10 of the different values like 2.2, 22, 220 are all pretty much in line here and that is a pretty good thing because it means the system works pretty well and um, naturally this isn't going to be the best way to measure capacitors but I think it's a pretty good way to learn about these kinds of circuits and get some insight into how they work. So hopefully you enjoyed this video naturally any questions you can leave in the comments I'll be glad to answer them and uh, I'll see you in the next video.